Come with me to paradise. Welcome to my paradise. I welcome all of you, all of you, all of you. All right, folks. This this is Al the Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Recording live from, I mean, recording from paradise. Please all make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please all make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and all of your enemies. Hit that notification bell. I do upload new content. And as well, follow me on Instagram and X. I keep saying Twitter. I'm going to say Twitter so bad. At the Boy with the Pampers and Toys. It's on the screen. So this week, I may do a two-week uh, extension because I've been kind of behind. But this is going to be Marvel Legends week. Um, exclusively. And today, this is going to be a pretty lengthy video. Because we're going to be talking about the X-Men 97 Wave 2. And um, I'm excited about it because I'm, I want, I don't know if the cartoon is out yet or not, but I hope it does come out. I heard it pays great homage to my childhood in the early 90s, the X-Men original cartoon. Nothing, I don't think nothing could compete with that. That's the nostalgia in history. So we have six figures that we're going to be talking about. And, um, one figure, I'm going to be honest with you, gang, I left out uh, Wave 1, and I got so much stuff. Like I said, I got to rearrange the corner of her on the Marvel, the Marvel Legends shelf and everything, because I'm trying to get everything organized. The room is not that big. So um, I'm going to open, unbox that, too. I'm not going to tell you who the figure is, but if you look at my past videos and all that talk about it, then you know what figure it is. So first and foremost... We're going to be talking about um, the one and only uh, Madeline Pryor, the Goblin Queen. And a um, little brief history on the Goblin Queen. She is really Jane Grey's uh, clone. And I really feel sorry for this girl because um, she didn't ask to be created by the Sin Mr. Sinister. And uh, she was there to, uh, you know, basically manipulate Cyclops and that whole ordeal. And as you can see, she comes with a child. That child is Baby Cable. Uh, I think it's Baby Cable. And um, she wanted to be loved, but she didn't understand her des her destiny. But we're gonna be talking. She's this is the first time she's been in the Marvel Legends line. And then next, we're gonna be talking about the one and only Cyclops. And um, you know, Cyclops has been a leader of the X Men for a pretty lengthy, long time. And um, he's a big character in the, in the comic books, you know, as well as the cartoon. And then a new cartoon. And then next, we're going to be... Uh, I'm not going to really go in order of everybody who I'm going to talk about. So I'm just showing you every, everybody. Then there's Magneto. And this is the Magneto that they got on the cartoon. And he looks very promising, this Magneto figure. Because really, this is how... I look at Magneto at the helmet, but the purple outfit is pretty different. So they kind of upgraded his costume. Next, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite characters out of series, Helmet Gamut. I like my favorite characters. That is Nightcrawler. As you know, Nightcrawler is the son of Mystique and the brother of Rogue. And, um, you know, and he's very, this figure looks promising. <clears throat> and then next we're going to be talking about the one and only the beautiful Jane Grey <laughs> the original Jane Grey Jane Grey is another <coughs> excuse me gang um, another big um, uh, female character in the whole genre the phoenix can't nothing top that story and then next he's a new character I really don't know too much about but I just know he's I was told he eliminates uh, mutants and everything, so his name is the Executioner, and, um, you know, let's get down to it, everybody, let's get down to it, get down to it. Okay, so with Matt, this is Madeline Pryor right here, and when I say tell you this figure is really gorgeous, really beautiful, I actually think she looks better than Jane Grey, but that's what a clone is for, and like I said before, I feel sorry for her in the comic books because she was created to... Uh, you know, basically mate with Cyclops and create a very powerful mutant. I really don't know the origins of Cable's story, but I know this little baby right here is definitely Cable. Baby Cable. That's me. 
<laughs> so, um, what I love what they did was the Goblin Queen, they created this scary like character, kind of like an Elvira mixed with a little bit of Dark Phoenix type situation. And this is the version of her when um, she was like, the girl just breached her breaking point with Cyclops, found out Jane Grey was alive without Jane Grey. He fell in love with her because she looked exactly like Jane Grey. And she reached her breaking point to where, I, I don't get me wrong, she crossed over to a darkness to where she's like, forget everybody, I'm just tired. So I don't blame her for not crossing over, but just being reaching her breaking point when she's in love. Okay, so let's get to the figure. So the face, when I tell you, um, the skin color is like she's pinkish, got like a pink color like. Um, what I, the hands, I, the female with the hands, they're gonna always have female with the hands for uh, any Marvel female character. Now, she does come with fists. There's no need for uh, Madeline Pryor, Goblin Queen, to come with fists. She's not a physical fighter. She had telekinesis. She had all the attributes of Jane Grey, but I don't think her powers were able to match Omega level status because she's a carbon copy of a Omega level mutant Jane Grey. So her head does move a little down. doesn't move up because of that big hair piece right here, that hair scope. They did an amazing job. Head moves. It's not wobbly, but it's okay. I got her on a... Um, stand because it's kind of hard for her to stand up with cheese that beyond female heels honestly um articulation wise she's got these nice little uh the cape actually the cape does come off so if you want i think the cape comes off let me try it oops so i think the cape does come off kind of I don't know, it's kind of stuck to this, but I'm gonna put, so you see the ball joint. So I'm gonna put her head back on. The girl lost her brain. <laughs> so um, she got these double jointed, pinless elbows. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the cape does have like a little thing you can stab her in the back, that part. Um, she does have double jointed uh pinless knees and that's a plus the nice little swivel leg right here swivel back and spin spin shout check it a baby now <laughs> um she's not fully all the way articulated in a righteous way of posing her the way you would love to pose her but i'm for sure you can put her like on the stand and have her flying something like that to a stance but she doesn't look up that hair mode makes her not look up which is a bummer i'm not gonna switch her hands out because there's no point of her having fisted hands um the heels i'm kind of disappointed because they still haven't um created the illusion effect of her, you know female characters can stand up on their own without a stand which is not great and she does come with these powers right here. I think I dropped one of them. So, you know, it's not really that important to me. So she does have her little magic. I got the magic in me. <laughs> so that's pretty cool right there. Now, like I said before, she does have baby Cable right here. Her child. Because I... I don't know... Let's see can she, how she can hold him. Well, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. Because she did love her child. Now, I knew, I do know there is a point where they kept coming, kidnap Cable from her. Because that was why she was created. The woman didn't know what was going on in the world. She thought she just lived a normal life. She didn't know what the heck was going on. She was created for a purpose, which was sad. But, um... Like I said before, Cable is... I think this is Cable right here. That's the only Cable I actually figure I got anyways. So, I'm just going to compare... I'm not going to compare a lot of figures in this video to stuff, but 
I'm gonna compare and contrast certain things, uh, certain figures with certain people. So like I said, her side by side cable, you know, I'm not really trying to compare him, you know, female character to male character, but that is her child. And she stands about 6.5 inches. She got them heels on. I think she would be a lot shorter than that if them heels wasn't made, they weren't made. And I think Cable's probably about six, six point three inches tall. Now I don't know if this is a Toy Wiz version of the the Good Phoenix. I said the Good Phoenix, but it was an Evil Phoenix. So I don't want me her. And um, I was a little disappointed in this figure, but you got to think about the times it was in back in the day. It was early two thousand, so that uh, you know I got her compared her side by side with her. And then I got her side by side with a three pack love triangle edition of uh, X Men, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Jane Grey, which I'm gonna compare this Jane Grey to the '97 Wave Two Jane Grey later on. So just want to show you that right there. So overall, I'm gonna give this figure a nine. This is her first time in line, so to my knowledge, uh, I don't know any other Madeline Pryor figures out here, the Goblin Queen. So I'll give her a 9.5. I didn't care for how she can't stand with the heels. That annoys me. And um, I really, and maybe it's just me asking too much, would have love for her to have a second head scope. But the second head scope was just a necessity. But the feet bothered me. And um, that's it, you know, but she's a beautiful figure. She's definitely beautiful. So next we have Brother Nightcrawler here. And when I tell you Nightcrawler, he's like, I say he is my, well, he's like in my top five male uh, Marvel Legends characters. And I don't know, is there something about Nightcrawler that I can relate to as a child? I don't know what it was. And um, so with this figure right here, he does come with a fist. And you know, Nightcrawler was really uh, actually good the acrobatics uh, and you know his power was he could teleport and um, and again this is Mystique's child like I said earlier in the video and he does come with this I don't know if it's a happy face or evil face I mean I'm gonna look I'm gonna look at him up close and personal <clears throat> so I have another Nightcrawler figure <clears throat> And actually, I think I like that Nightcrawler better. I'll tell you why. So articulation-wise, it seems like they use the same body concept as the other Nightcrawler, but the face scope is a little different. But one thing I love about this figure, because the way his feet is, he stands perfectly. He just stands perfectly. You don't have to, like, man, if you don't stand down, stand down. <laughs> um... I really do wish that this Nightcrawler would have came with a sword and some uh, actual uh, hands, like uh, gripped hands, because he did have a sword in the cartoon. I do remember that in the comic books. Um, so as you can see, you know, the ab crunch is pretty cool. It's pretty tight. Butterfly, double jointed, pinless uh, elbows. The head does look up, which is a plus to me looks down um you know he is very acrobatic and almost uh marvel legends black widow uh articulated to a default a, a, a fault i said default a fault <laughs> had some coffee folks so uh you know articulation wise you know you look at it like that pretty cool the feet are like the feet are pretty cool because they just reused the body, basically. That's all they did. So, you know, he got these three hands. Or these three, I said three hands, three fingers. Um, head does move left or right. So let's try the second head. So this is the face. Remember this face right here. I don't know if it's his evil face or his good face. Because Nightcrawler always had a moderate face. Uh, moderate meaning you don't know. He, he just not look lost, but... I always said, and I think that's how I can relate to another child. So I believe this face is, it just shows, it's the difference with this face right here and this face is it shows his teeth. So 
What was the point of his second head scope? That's what I want to know. If you want to make a different type of emotion, you should have made the second head scope like not him smiling, but just some type of expression of joy lost instead of just two angry faces, angry hit face scopes. It doesn't make any sense. As you can see on the back, he comes with his tail. Um, I don't know if the tail comes out. I'm, I think it does. I believe it does, but I don't feel like being bothered with it, to be honest with you. But um, let's do some comparisons. Because I just feel like they just reused the body, to be honest with you. So we got him next to his mama. Mama, 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 mommy, mommy. Mama, you're the queen of my heart. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, I got him next to Mystique. This is a older X-Men Legends figure of Mystique. I think it gets her down to a T. From what, I, what, what I remember from the nostalgia 90s cartoon and comic books. And... Um, I got a VHS Mystique coming in. I think I think that that stature can match up with these X Men '97 cartoon versions of that. I ain't saying this one doesn't, but um, side by side, that's Mama, that's Son. So now this is the uh, um, X Men Legends figure that I do have. Of um, this is the. I believe this is the. The, the what he looked like in the cartoon from the 90s i'm assuming i can't really remember that's why i gotta get that x-men series on dvd one day i gotta go on amazon and see if they got it so i could, it could just relive, relive my childhood of eight years all over again i think it was seven or eight years it lasted so i really like the older nightcrawler better i think he may be the new nightcrawler could be a little bit taller than him by a tad uh, maybe it's the head scope, but it's the same body reuse. So maybe it's how the legs are. Because if you notice the older um, Nightcrawler, his knees are pretty knotted a little bit more. So I believe they will be the same height. But his knee, if his knees wasn't that knotted, you know, pinned to be that, you know, whatever. Plus, he has pins. This older Nightcrawler. Oops. If you if you can notice the difference right here, just showing you side by side. Um. But overall, I give the figure a 9.8 out of 10. I just took off points because it's a reusable body. And I didn't like the facial. They should have just made the second head scope a different facial expression. And I believe he should have had a grip hands. And he should have had a sword to say tradition. Maybe in the new cartoon, they didn't want him to have a sword. I don't know. But that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Okay, so next we have... The man caught in the middle of Jane Grey and her single white female Bridget Fonda clone. Uh, and um, this Cyclops, Cyclops is pretty cool. Um, I don't really think there's really no hoorah, hoorah, hooray about him for real. Nothing bad. Uh, he does come with this head scope right here. As you can see, it's like an open ray where you can put the um, the power that he comes with inside it. I'm going to demonstrate that as well. So I think it's pretty cool. I'll show that later on. He does come with he does come with um, fisted hands and a uh, crouching tiger hidden dragon two fingers type of hand. But Cyclops was never I don't really think he was ever a combat fighter. But Neither here, neither there. I can't remember. So with this figure right here, he does look up. His head looks up. His head does look down. One thing I can say that Marvel has improved on with these X-Men 97 figures is the actual head scopes of everything. I think they did a phenomenal job with that. And he does look down. Nice little ab crunch. Ooh. Man, work out a gym, work out a gym. Um, good little butterfly arms. They're a little stiff, but I think if you put a little heat to them, they can probably, um, you know, be more durable. Um, I will say he looks like the original Cyclops. 
But I'm gonna compare and contrast them to the older Cyclops I have than what he looks like in the cartoon, the original cartoon in comic books. Well, he looks so many ways in comic books. So nice little swivel leg right here. Come on, shake, 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 shake your, shake your body. <laughs> so the knees, double jointed, pinless knees right here, articulated feet, not toes. Um, his some boots on older uh, Marvel Legends figures don't even twist like that, don't even move around. I thought that was pretty cool they added that effect. Um, you know, he he's articulated enough, because you know Cyclops wasn't, he's a big guy anyway. So, um, the hands, I may go ahead and, because um, Cyclops did pack a punch too. Um... Should I put a fist of hand on this man? Maybe. It ain't gonna hurt. It ain't gonna hurt. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. If you wanna test me, I'll tell you fine. Well, hold on. Man, that ain't, that ain't working out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was about to put him on the left foot, left stunt. Okay, so. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty cool. That's enough. So, with this head scope right here, let's switch that out. As you can see, the little ball joint. Oops, man, he dropped his powers. Cyclops, what's going on, man? You see the light at the end of the tunnel, sir. You see the light, see the world under my feet. All right. So, as you can see, um... I would say I would have just, it was supposed to hit or miss for me, but it's really not because <clears throat> when you look at pictures on Instagram, people have little special effects of Cyclops in a lot of these AI pictures with his power shooting out. So I don't think it was a bad idea they did that, but it's neither here or there for me because I believe that this will get in the way. <laughs> so, sir, you got to get, you got to put your new, your, your original head on. All right. All right, all right, all right. He, off with his head, that's what they did. So right here, we have him next to my three pack, Jane Gray, the Love Triangle one, and um, Wolverine pack. I actually never bought the three pack. I only bought Jane Gray and Cyclops separate, and they was about 70 bucks a piece loosely. I didn't mind paying for them because that's like, you know, that x Men's my heart. So when you put them side by side, this is the original version of what Cyclops looked back in the comic books and the cartoons. Well, some of the comic books, but the original cartoon. Um, the new cartoon, I don't think they did a bad job with him. I just would have preferred, um, I'm, I'm just being so spoiled, I guess. It actually is a good looking figure. It's a good looking figure. I said something earlier that I didn't really care about it. But when I'm looking down side by side of him, the original Cyclops, it's not bad at all, but I would have preferred for them to keep his hair brown instead of auburn or burnet. Not burnet, but like a reddish auburn color. They could have just kept his original color just to still pay homage, even though he's updated looking. He don't really look too different because I get it. Everybody can't stay the same looking after all these years. You can't have the same voice actors on the cartoon. I get that respectfully. But I would have loved for this character that came with a jacket as well, too. If you're paying about $27.99, $24.99 plus tax, like $27, I mean, this man needs some extra stuff. You know, I get it, I get him an extra head scope. But I think that um, he should have came with a jacket. <laughs> but other than that, I give this figure... I give him a... Uh, I want to truly, I was going to say 9.8. He's not a bad looking figure. I would have, um, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. I give him a perfect score. Because at least they try to acknowledge the original. And I believe the hair color is just a necessity. Okay, so next we got the beautiful Jane Grey. Uh, our female uh, favorite protagonist of all the series, to be honest with you. And, um... I like her, but there's one thing I can't stand about this figure. And they got her body wrong. She's too skinny. The girl needs to eat. 
and on the original cartoon, she was not voluptuous, but she was curvier. Even the comic book, she was curvy. I know all the women in Marvel, they got some type of physique about them. But I do feel like Storm, her, and Rogue all had their own kind of physique in a cartoon. This Jane Grey right here is pretty thin. But we'll get to that. So with the face, you know, she does come with a second head scope. And I'm going to show that. So I really don't care that... I'm assuming this one has a defect because when you look at it, like, I don't know if maybe the hair mode supposed to have been on top of that little corner that y'all see, the blue corner at the top of her head, of the of her headband of her outfit. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Maybe I'm overthinking. So the ponytail does come out, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to crazy glue that in real quick later on so and I like this head scope so that's the disappointing part about it so you know nah, I ain't overthinking because on this head scope for now what we're gonna do is keep this head scope on her how about that because I feel like this head scope see you see how well, you, you see how when you look at it it's a little bit off the hair the hair piece i think they was rushing the factory and shipped thrown out didn't want to get in trouble for their production so with this jane gray right here her head did move up and down well let me be fair and show that she, her head can move up and down at least well she came and look up look down look up she can look up and down but she can't go she can't really go far excuse my ugly hands everybody i work hard at my job so that's that so i don't want this head scope on her because i'm not i'm not happy with what they did with that head scope so we just want to keep her with a long hair piece so she has pinless butterfly um double jointed arms right here um these little pads right here shoulder pads stop her from her arm from reaching all the way up but i get it it's a part of her costume so i'm not mad about that she has a nice well her she don't have a ab crunch i don't think these female characters have an ab crunch oops didn't mean to hit my thing hit my camera but it is what it is so, Madeline Pryor has an ab crunch. Her clone, but she doesn't. So, I don't like that. Um, she does come with these hands right here. I'm going to go ahead and change one of the hands out. Female wielding hands, because Jane is not like a combat fighter. So, I don't really think she needs to be one. She'll just get you together about her powers. And, oops. So it's okay that she has that hand. Now this other hand right here, she really didn't need at all. So that's it. So I feel like she's too thin. Like she's just built straight down. Like this is not the Jane Grey that I know. Now the face sculpt is amazing. The outfit is okay. So why did they just make her so thin like that? Like a thin crust pizza. So, um... She does have a nice little swivel to her legs. Um, her boots, the female boots, um, like their boots are not like Cyclops will swivel back and forth with the articulation of the feet. Boom. Put that all the way back there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm a little disappointed in this figure, to be honest with you. It's not, they, they don't capture the body likeness of Jane Grey. Jane Grey was still a curvy woman. Like, y'all just got her built like Spongebob over here. Or somebody's, um, uh, somebody's grandmother. Well, she probably is somebody's grandmother, you know, years to come. But, gosh. So, as you can see, I got her next to the three-pack Love Triangle, uh, uh, X-Men, um, series. And, um, I like the original Jane Grey. 
Um, though I like the new one too, the head scope, but the body is terrible. And I do believe that this body, and I'm just turning them around so I can have my point across real quick. Okay. So as you can see, there's a difference in body type. She's just, they did her wrong. They didn't do her justice. And this, and you know, Jane was a curvy, voluptuous at the, at the top busty woman. So why do y'all got her built like um, Cindy from the trailer park? <laughs> She's the hottest thing in the trailer park, but why? <laughs> so, uh, the head scopes I, I like, but not the first one because they, they, they didn't glue the hair piece on right. But... I'm going to definitely give her, um, this figure to me gets an 8.75 8 out of a 10. I mean, but I think you should add her to your collection. I think you really should. So, well, definitely back to the video. So the guns, you know, so this gun right here, I don't really, I don't know, like, I guess he could hold it on the back of him right here. Some type of degree. Um, this little hole back here. Because I don't know how he would hold this gun. That's kind of weird. And he's supposed to hold everything else in the back. But who knows. Other than that, this figure. Um, what can I say about it? And he does have a swivel on the leg. Um, He can chop that leg up and kick somebody if he wants to. Yeah. But this coat, I kind of wish Marvel would like invest into some type of cloth like for figures like this because it takes away, you know, a showing articulation real easy for characters. But he's a cool looking character, I would say that. And, um, you know, as you know with Marvel, the wrist moves. I should have been saying that with the other figures. I'll give this figure like a nine. A 9.5 out of a 10. I don't really do know too much about this figure. But I do want to compare him with one other figure. Because I think it's fair. I've been comparing everybody else with some type of figure. So why not him? Why not him? So I got him standing next to um, the Samurai. Now the Samurai, I read, I, he was original X-Men. He was on the from the Children of the Atom. He was on a video game. I remember the arcade video back in the early 90s, which was a cool video game to this day. You can download it for free on any device. I think it's still out there. So, um, side by side, the Samurai's a lot taller than him a little bit from Stan's point. Um, the Executioner, he's pretty short compared to the other figures. Actually, he's not really short. He's actually like the same height as Cyclops. The Cyclops is pretty tall. I just think that um, uh, Madeline Pryor, she's just tall with them heels. And as you can see, I got J uh, Jane Grey right here as well, too. So she's shorter than everybody. So, you know, there's the execution, everybody. So honestly, I forgot to mention this uh, Magneto from the first wave. And I thought it was a treat, a token. I'm going, not a token. He will be a Chuck E. Cheese's. I'm going to open it up along with the other Magneto figure. I don't know how I skipped them over. I, I told you I have so many figures, I'll be skipping everybody over. So let's get down to the business. Okay, so respectfully, I got them both side by side. I got the Magneto from Wave 1, and I got the newest Magneto from this Wave 2. Now, I'm, a, I'm looking at the Magneto right here. I'm a little disappointed in it because... Let's talk about him first since I have never opened him up. So first and foremost... His helmet cannot be removed. They just got a, a helmet glued on top of his head, which is ridiculous. Um, Articulation-wise, he has pinless uh, knees and arms. The cape kind of comes off, but I guess you know it's glued on, so they no use of taking it off. He got a hole where that cape can go in at. Nice little ab crunch. I can't believe I'm talking about this figure. Now, He's pretty good and articulated. 
Um, nice little swivel thigh. I don't think they upgraded yet with this wave with the boot swivel for some of the characters like Cyclops. Um, he came with two fisted hands, which I'm not gonna put on him because it don't make sense. Magneto is a powerful old mega level mutant, one of the top ones. And um, so the figure to me doesn't look all that great because they glued this helmet on. He could have hit a second head sculpt with this figure, but I guess they was rushing to try to help get him out. Looks like he got some eye makeup on or something, or maybe he's just going through some electricity functions. I don't know. So it is what it is with with it. I get it. So um, compare and contrast that. I, that's all I really can say about this figure. He's not a bad looking figure at all, but at the same time, they could have did a little better with the second head scope. He doesn't really stand up well either on his own, which he got these, I call them the, not the church shoes, but the garbage man shoes that just are like mud. So just to show everybody, cause I never talked about him at all. And I feel bad that I never talked about him. I, I skipped him over by accident, didn't try to. Just had, you know, other stuff I had to get to. So I give this figure right here, I give him, I give him a nine out of a 10. Took off a whole point because um, the helmet was glued to the head. The feet are not as cool. You know, they don't stand up straight. I said cool. They don't stand up straight at all. And um, he didn't have no special effects at all. So we're going to move on. <laughs> so with this new Magneto, he stands up pretty decent. Um... I, get, I do remember in a trailer for the for the cartoon, he was like held against his will. So maybe he was trying to do good or take over the role of Charles Xavier. I don't know. But um, all we know is Magneto is a guy. He got white hair. He was Charles Xavier's best friend in college. Um, the outfit, I have nothing to say about the outfit because it's something new. I know the app crunch is pretty cool. His head doesn't look down. He look almost like MacGyver, don't he? Look like MacGyver, like, I'm about to dodge this bullet. So I don't really see no point of Magneto having fisted hands. Like I said before, that man, I keep hitting my camera. Sorry, folks. I don't see the point of um, him having fisted hands for what? He's Magneto for crying out loud. Okay. All uh, right. I know his helmet gives him like some type of powers, extra powers, stronger powers. I can't remember. C correct me in the comments in the future. I don't know. Um, like, okay. So he got a boot swivel right here, which is cool. The men got boot swivels. That's, that's fine with me. Nice little thigh swivel. Um, be careful, you know, articulating because he got that cape around him. The cape is just like the other one. But this cape, the difference with this cape is it actually comes off. So now he looks like he's about to go on stage and do a performance of his life. Oh, carry on. Nothing really matters. <laughs> uh, David Bowie. Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> I'm stupid, y'all. But I think the outfit's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope. Um... Not really much to say, but I'm gonna compare and contrast him with um, the other uh, Magneto that I do have. I actually have two other Magnetos, the white Magneto that I have with the white outfit. I didn't care for that at all, so he's irrelevant at all. Okay, now with that Magneto over here to the far right, I think I got a different head scope for him. I can't remember, I think he had a regular head scope with no helmet on that had him with full hair and his eyes was an unknown like them storm eyes home storm eyes so well that magneto fell from way one oh well leave him there so uh compare and contrast them both i believe that magneto's body type will always be reused um for a matter of fact and i i don't know the arms come from somebody i can't remember though but I do feel like the legs are a lot bigger than this Magneto, as well as the Magneto right here, the Wave 1 Magneto. 
they done borrowed the legs from somebody. I don't know whose legs these could be. Maybe they're Wolverine legs or something like that because they're much bigger than both of these Magnetos. He just a man down, man down. Call my ambulance somebody. I don't care. So, uh, <laughs> so with this new Magneto, I'm, I'm pleased with him. You know, I get it. Every story can be the same. Outfits can be the same. But I was happy they had a human, uh, just a regular <coughs> head. And I, I got to remember the storyline will progress to what we understand when he changed maybe to this form right here. You know, he turned evil or something. I don't know. <laughs> but with the new Magneto, I give him a... Mm, I give him a... I give him a 9.8 out, out of a 10. The reason I have to have some points is because... Um, man, if you don't demagnetize yourself... <laughs> because... Um, I would have loved for him to have some type of head sculpt figure, like an extra head sculpt with the helmet. But this is okay. So I didn't take off a lot of points on this Magneto right here. But, but I think everybody should get these figures, honestly. And, um, you know, with that being said, um, there you have the X-Men Wave 97-2. All right, everybody. So as you can see, we talked about... Um, Cyclops, Jane Grey, Nightcrawler, uh, Goblin Queen, along with Baby Cable, <coughs> Magneto, the Executioner, and as well as, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> we talked about, uh, what Magneto from Wave 1, so I don't even know why I overlooked him. That's how much I didn't care for this figure, looking at him. Don't make sense to have them in this way talking about them in this video, but it is what it is. All right. So I would like to thank all my friends for subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers of the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers of the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and all of your enemies. Also, hit the notification bell when I do upload new content. And uh, follow me on Instagram and X at The Boy with the Pampers of the Toys. It's on the screen. And I must say... It's not Frosty Lucky Charms with some of these figures. That's on my shirt. But I would say add them to your collection, all of them, regardless of what I may have felt. I, I'm still glad that I got these figures. So, X-Men. Everybody have a great day. <laughs> and one more thing I forgot to mention. I do apologize. I feel like I owe this to you, friends. Um... I forgot to mention that Magneto had a second head scope as well, too. So I was dead wrong for not showing that. Now, I like this head scope a whole lot better. So I had to add that to the video. And do a, I do apologize. I overlooked that. So there you have the angry face. And then you have the Tuesday, Wednesday, MacGyver face. <laughs> All right, everybody.